Cries for justice echo across Metro Atlanta. We are anticipating the release of new body cam videos showing the final moments of a deacon, father, husband, and friend. The Fulton County DA's office will release the Johnny Holman video. He died months ago following an encounter with Atlanta police after a traffic stop. Atlanta News first reporter Yasmina Alston live tonight outside the Fulton County Courthouse. Yasmina, the district attorney's office just announced the video will not be released tonight. Yes, Sean, the Fulton County District Attorney's Office saying they will release that body camera footage tomorrow morning at 9. Still, the family says they plan to have a prayer vigil tonight ahead of that release. The Fulton County District Attorney's Office is expected to release the body camera footage showing what happened between Atlanta Deacon Johnny Holman and an Atlanta police officer during an interaction after a minor accident. Holman was arrested and tased in August after he allegedly refused to sign a traffic ticket. The 62 year old became unresponsive and died at Grady Hospital. The Atlanta police officer Kiran Kimbrough was fired. Holman's family claims his death could have been avoided if the officer had de-escalated the situation. Kimbrough's attorney says he denies any wrongdoing and plans to appeal his termination. Meanwhile, Holman's family says the body camera footage will show otherwise. We want to see what this justice looked like. And for us, that's this officer not only being terminated, we don't want him to ever work at another police department. We don't want him to ever do this to anyone else. Yes, we want him prosecuted. And again, the family will have a prayer vigil tonight at 7, and we do have a crew that will cover that and bring you the very latest tonight at 11. Live at the Fulton County Courthouse, Yasmina Alston, Atlanta News First.